Palestinians remember the greatest tragedy in our collective memory. The day when Palestine was stolen from us. At this time, 76 years ago, Zionists began a mass ethnic cleansing and mass rape campaign in Palestine. Their goal was the same it is today, to displace, dispossess, and eradicate Palestinians. In 1948, these Zionist terrorist gangs like the Lehi, the Stern, and the Ergun established the settler colony of Israel on stolen Palestinian land. Al-Nakba is not a historical event. It is an ongoing system of massacres, land theft, starvation, and genocide that works to destroy the Palestinian presence. Al-Nakba is a monster who feasts on the lands and life of Palestinians whose appetite for destruction grows more uncontrollable every day. Where occupation soldiers parade over decimated cities in Gaza, trampling over the bodies of our martyrs, subjecting our women to humiliation or feasting in the homes of Gazans from which they have displaced. And when the lifeless bodies of Palestinian children dangle from the edges of their homes, you dare to dismiss our calls for liberation, for resistance as too political. This ends now. Enough is enough. No more business as usual. It has been 76 years. It is time to end the Nakba, lift the siege, dismantle the colony, and liberate Palestine. Patient to truly believe that freedom is close. Before I came here today, last night, one of my friends in Gaza who's currently in Rafah, they are sheltering in the Al Mawasi safe zone. The entire strip of Gaza is the size of Detroit. Now imagine the size of Al Mawasi, which is smaller than Rafah. 1.5 million Palestinians living in tent cities, and those are the ones who are lucky. My friend told me, Muhammad, I have one message for you all. Do not stop. Keep going. We believe in you. And when I hear those words from my friends in Gaza, my heart shatters to think that we must do more. They are hoping we will do more. How can we not do more? <laughs>